Hello everyone, I'm back with one more crazy series, 90 days sock challenge for beginners. This covers log analysis, security investigation, forensics, threat intelligence, phishing analysis, and many more. A complete hands-on challenge. You will have community access with free Discord server, my free Discord server, and uh, it's, it's beginner friendly as well, okay? So we are going to cover uh, quite a lot of stuff very very practical stuff in this free 90 days sock challenge for beginners okay and make sure you also join the discord server mentioned in the description below now if you are ready to get into uh, cyber security or excel your career in the cyber security with more advanced or enterprise tools such as splunk elk os query velocity raptor qualys and many more then you can check out my ultimate security analysis program hundreds of students have already enrolled this program and many have got job or they have excel in their career as well plus you will have my personal attention every week what are you waiting for get the link in the description below all right so now let's begin with our very first challenge to start the challenge you can check out the discord server link once you register yourself to this Discord server, you will get this channels here. Um, the, in the initially, we have announcement channel where we will share any announcement. We have 90 days sock challenge. Now, this is where we have a normal discussion about the entire challenge. But here, from here, the actual process starts. You there are nine challenges. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine challenge. Each challenge consists of four to five tasks. We have five here. Some of them may have four as well. Okay. Now you can start with the task one. In, in the beginning, this is the pinned, uh, you know, comment uh, message itself. This is the task one, which says explore and collect the logs from Windows event viewer using PowerShell. Okay. Now this is where you have a task one. This is this is where you have a step 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 by step guide about how to perform this task and in this channel itself you have to share this snapshot of your result and also write one liner about your observation what you have observed and what have you learned okay remember two things your observation some of the students have not shared it but make sure when you start you share your observation what you understand with the, based on your based on the logs and also what did you learn okay what did you learn okay i need the answer to this along with the snapshot let's start with the task one okay i click on the task one this will take me to the github repository github page basically the git repository name is 90 days sock challenge beginner okay and this is the task one under challenge one okay so let's begin i need to if first the objective of the task is very much clear as a student, you have to simulate a PowerShell command execution and then you have to see the logs, okay? You will set up a lab, you will work on preparation, then you will launch an attack and detect it using PowerShell and that's conclude our labs. It's that easy, right? Now, uh, in order to uh, work on this lab, you have to have a Windows machine, Windows 10 or maybe Windows Server 2019. You can set them up in your uh, virtual box or VMware, or maybe you can get it on the cloud. I have on my RDP server at this moment, you can see. So it's up to you. How do you want to go with it? So once you have this, let me keep it. Let me keep the GitHub on my right somewhere here. Okay. Perfect. Now, once you do that, uh, the uh, the goal is we we are going to actually launch an attack a kind of probing uh, using PowerShell and then we are going to see the logs we are going to detect that log on Windows machine Windows event viewer we call it as okay now first step is once you set up the lab once you are ready with your Windows server you have to prepare the environment why do you have to prepare because by default by default powershell logs are not enabled you have to enable powershell and remember powershell is very very important to just like you have bash perl scripts in linux machine 
in windows we have a very very powerful scripting language it's powershell okay with powershell you can automate all the all the commands which you have to do uh, with the gui otherwise okay so automation is very very powerful with powershell okay so but remember powershell is also used heavily by the attackers as well so it's very important we detect any malicious command execution done by powershell okay so let's first enable the powershell logs Re remember it is not by default enabled so to do that we can first go to the uh, search tab and that's where we can we can go to the gp edit this is where you go to the group policy under group policy then you can follow the commands okay under group policy we have configuration computer configuration then you go to the administrative tools then you have windows components and in here you have to search for windows powershell okay then this is where the next thing comes in by default in your case all these options should be disabled okay all these loggings are by default disabled okay i'll show you that uh, in your case once you navigate to windows powershell all these options by default be disabled in your case for example this is module logging okay module or module okay this option enables the logging of all the modules that are loaded into powershell sessions okay so this records the detailed information about uh, you know cmd let's execution for each module so powershell has got multiple modules for uh, for each just like we have libraries okay so we need to enable that next uh, we have to turn up the powershell script block logging so this is basically a feature that locks each command or script block execution okay so it captured both interactive command and uh, those, those uh, any scripts as well so let's, let's say if we enter cert certain commands this if we enable this it will capture next we also have a script execution so this controls the execution policies for powershell so it defines whether the script can can be run on a system and if so under what condition okay is it signed or unsigned it is valid or invalid so this is all controlled by the this specific feature then we also have a, a powershell transcription this is optional so this basic this option records all the powershell command that are executed along with their output into the log file as well but i suggest you enable them so to enable simply go and double click it click by default it is not configured you click on enable and submit that's all similarly for this one as well by default it is not configured click on enable and then click ok you also have to check this box uh, similarly turn on the script execution click on enable then you have an option for allow only sign script or everything sign are valid validated script unsigned script are non-validated scripts okay so so you make sure we do it for all this is again risky and this might generate a lot of lot, lots and lots of logs so be ready for it we are doing it only because it's a lab environment okay um in in production environment for most of the system powershell are disabled uh, these are mostly enabled on uh, developer's machine or some other machines where PowerShell execution might be needed. So as a best practice, as a best practice, most of the organization, mature organization, disable the PowerShell on sales machine, marketing machine, right? They don't really need, they don't really have to go to the PowerShell and execute certain commands, right? So that's done. Once it is done, and then you we because now we can we now powershell will be generating the logs for us right so as a part of next step what we have to do is we have to launch an attack on the machine okay so we are going to execute some suspicious command okay what is that basically we are going to run a command get local local user and then we are asking for name and um, wanted to know if those users are sessions are enabled or not okay so get local user is basically going to generate the local user configured on my machine on my local machine okay so let's copy it go to powershell and start as admin enter 
hit enter perfect you have administrator enabled yes default account disable guest account disable perfect it's all good now let's go to the event viewer where we are going to see the logs and this is our, of course our next step as you can see once you have executed this command then you can go to detect using event viewer so you can go to uh, open just like i have done go to search button and type event viewer and then you have you have to move from you have to navigate to applications and service logs microsoft windows powershell operational okay so i'll show you that um on your left you have applications and services logs click on this then go to microsoft then go to windows and then search for powershell you can also type po powershell and then under this you have two option admin and operationals click on operationals okay this will give you all the logs okay now we have to search for uh, the commands that we have entered by default this come this kind of a command execution command comes under the executor remote command okay so um, in order to because it, this might generate you know n number of logs as you can see currently the time is 11 27 and we have a latest log at 11 26 okay you can also apply a filter you can refresh the logs anytime and you can also apply a filter based on different event id let's say we want to go for only 4104 4104 so in that case it will only show us 4104 logs okay we can then probably remove the filters as well if you want uh, let's remove the filter and now we can again run our command and let's see perfect we have executed the command one more time and uh, you can look for 4104 4104 perfect yes can you see this get local user enable and in your case this is the command executed by the maybe let's say attacker okay uh in in the in the from the attacker's point of view they they may do it as a part of performing the lateral movement or maybe it's performed by some malicious script okay so we need to capture those logs so this is how in the event viewer we can capture those logs remember one thing uh, as a sock analyst you don't have to check it yourself by individually going to every machine this has to be exported to solutions like sim solutions like splunk uh, wazoo um, ibm q radar microsoft sentinel so these are by default exported to the the sim solution i'm just telling you how can you do it without any tool natively on your machine i hope this was clear for you and this completes our uh, first task once it is done then just take the snapshot of this logs maybe a 4104 logs here where it is 4104 log and just take a snapshot and share on the group chat of task one and also type uh and after sending the snapshot just type what did you i mean what's your observation what's your observation and then what did you learn as i said in the beginning as well so don't forget okay so I'll catch you in the next task. Till then, keep learning.